Hey guys, my name is Jin and welcome to my channel, the best place for entrepreneurs and business owners who want to make a difference in this world. By the end of today's video, you're gonna learn exactly how to create your own booking link and connect that with your calendar. That's useful for the free consultations, discovery calls, coaching calls, even coaching calls that are paid for, right? So the company that I'm using is called Calendly. I strongly recommend that. I've been using that for a few years now and I'm very happy with it. They do have the basic option, which is free. The basic option gives you one link for one type of event. So for example, if all my calls are half an hour or all my calls are one hour, then this basic free version is going to be enough for you. And that's what I've been using, you know, when I just started my business. Once my business grew, I had different types of calls. So for example, mentorship call would be one hour, free consultation is 30 minutes. And then perhaps you have certain mentorship calls which are paid for. So you need to add the pricing on. In that case, you need different types of links. And so you need to increase your packaging. Personally, this essential package is enough for me even now. So I don't see the need to go further, but it's up to you. You can explore it in more depth. So first of all, you need to go to Calendly.com. I'll add all the links in the description below, and then you can click get started here. Enter your email address. Click sign up and then in here you enter your full name, choose your password, click I agree with privacy policy, then it's up to you whether you want to receive about new features, click continue. I save always, I always save my password and then before continuing, we need to verify your email address. Please check your inbox for a confirmation link. So I'm going to go straight into my inbox and check for the confirmation link and then just click confirm my email. Now enter your password again, click continue. And now here you can create your Calendly URL, which is going to be the basic one. And then you can add extra things for different links, but the main link is going to be this calendly.com and then whatever you select here. So I'm going to say my name. It's, it says it's unavailable. So I'm going to add one more word saying coaching and then I'm going to click continue. Now here we need to connect it with our calendar. So here you can see that I can collect it, uh, connect it with my Google Calendar. And then it says, here is how Calendly will work with gintaredinlite at gmail.com. Um, so that's my actual Gmail calendar. And they say, we'll check business for conflicts. And business is one of the calendars that I have in my Google that I created. I'll show you. So if I go to my calendar, you will see here. On the left hand side we have my calendars you can add new calendars you can delete some calendars if you don't want it i basically organized you know my life around that so when i go back to calendly i need to make sure that they will check not only business because i might add something to another calendar and i want it not to duplicate with the person booking a call during that time when i'm busy so i'm gonna select all of the calendars instead and you might only have one, which is absolutely fine. And I'm going to click update and then we'll add event to business calendar. So that's all right for me, but you can select whatever calendar you wish to add it to. I'm going to click continue. And then here I have to select my available hours. Normally each link will be able to be amended accordingly, but it's just the basic general hours that you want to work. So I'm going to select 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then I don't want any bookings on Saturday, Sunday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is fine. If I was to have one more day per week off, I would just simply untick it. You can, you know, amend it up to your own needs and then click continue. And then here 
personalize your experience, tell us about your role at work, we will help us provide a tailored support experience. So what is your day-to-day -day role? I'm gonna say leader entrepreneur. You can select whatever you wish to select and click continue. Your 40 day trial of Calendly most popular features starts today. So they actually give you a free trial for the top, I think, um, features, which is amazing. And then we say, let's get started. And you don't need to enter your credit card details for now. And um, so if you are to use a free version, that's absolutely fine. And then here you will see that we have three types of bookings. Once you have a free version after 14 days, you will have only one option. So for example, if I had this 15 minute meeting, I can actually amend it. So if I click edit, I can amend the title of it. So I can say free consultation. I can add location, which is Zoom and says Zoom is not connected. So go to Zoom integration page. So it's up to you whether you use Zoom or whether you use anything else. You can literally add phone call. You can add in-person meeting, whatever it is for you, right? Um, but I'm normally using Zoom and I'm going to click Zoom integration page to actually connect my Zoom with it. So I'm going to click connect Zoom. And I'll also take here, allow this app to use my shared access permissions and then click authorize. And then I'm going to, that's it. And then I'm going to go to event types. And I'm going to come back to this meeting that I've been um, actually amending. So unfortunately, I will need to enter this again. Um, free consultation. Location Zoom. It's all now good and connected. Then you can add description if you wish. I'm going to just leave it empty. And then here, of course, you can also amend it. Free consultation. And now you will see that this is the link that's going to be your link for this event. So it's going to be canly.com, whatever you entered initially, and then the end of it is whatever you write now. You can select the color and then save and close. And then when people can book this event, and here's how you can specifically actually to choose, um, you know, date range, maybe 60 days into the future, maybe 30 days into the future, if you don't want to allow them to book too far in advance, you can select the duration. So you can change actually from 15 minutes to 45 minutes or whatever you need, um, how to want to offer your availability for this event type. I'm going to use an existing schedule or you can actually set a specific schedule for that particular call. So for example, if I don't want free consultations to be booked on Wednesday, Thursdays and Fridays, I would simply untick Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, and that would only give my normal Monday, Tuesday um, hours. And then uh, want to add time before your event. So it means like if I want 15 minutes to prepare for my event and perhaps 15 minutes to have after, I would actually include these. I personally do that, especially after intense mentorship calls. I actually even allow myself one hour um, to be blocked out in my calendar so that no one books it in because I do like to have this time to you know create my energy and if I had calls back to back it just causes me too much stress and I just don't like that so I always use this section but it's up to you if you wish more calls per day then you can just untick these and leave it um, open which will mean that people can book literally um, one time slot after another. So if I had a call at two and it finishes at three, at three o'clock, someone else can already book me. I'm going to click save and close. Then in VT questions here, if you wish to um, ask anything um, of them, so perhaps you can ask their name, email address and um, whatever question you wish to ask before the meeting. Um, for example, I could ask uh, whether you would like to send me your website URL or something like that. What is it that you're struggling right now? What help do you need? 
what do you expect out of the call, what would be best for you um, to receive um, throughout our call, whatever you wish um, to ask here, you can do that. Workflows is the email setup. I normally skip this for now because I have my own email autoresponder notifications and cancellations policy. You can amend that. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I will add email reminders. I quite like um, to have email reminder um, before our event. I find it's quite useful. Um, and you can select the timing. So you can select 24 hours before and then you can select, for example, one hour before. So this is quite useful. You can select text reminders, email follow ups after your call. But I'm going to leave it all empty. I just want some reminders before the call and I'm going to click save and close. And then confirmation page, you can simply leave Canonly display confirmation page or you can redirect it to external site if you have your own page that's already created. To simplify things, I'm just going to leave this one. And then collect payments. If you actually charge for the call that you're going to provide, then you would need to um, go to integrations page and connect it with your payment account. So the main uh, payment accounts are Stripe and PayPal, whichever you use. I personally prefer Stripe, but PayPal, sometimes it's easier. Either way, you would need to register with them and create the account. Again, just following the steps, it's pretty easy. For this tutorial, I'm just going to click Stripe, connect with Stripe, and then select your account, whichever it is, and then click Connect. And just wait a moment. And it says Stripe currently connected. I will come back to integrations and I will very quickly show you PayPal as well. So if I click on PayPal, again, connect with PayPal. It asks your email address, so make sure it's the correct email address that you use for the account that you created and then select your country, click next, and then just log in. Back to Calendly. And then I'm just going to quickly go back to home, select the event type that I'm amending and get back to collect payments because we haven't finished the setup yet. So in here, now you have to select which one you want to have payments with. So because I connected it with Stripe and PayPal, it gives me both options. So I'm just going to select Stripe for now and amount to be collected. So you can set up the amount for your mentorship call. I will, I will say 200 pounds and then payment terms. You can add whatever you want in there. For example, it's non-refundable or um, you have to inform within 24 hours in order to get a refund, something like that. I'll just click save and close. And now our event is fully set up. So if I was to get back to home, I can take this link, copy and check actually what it looks like. So if I go into my browser, paste it, and you will see that there is no branding at the moment. But if I click on the days that I selected to be available for this particular event type, you will see that my available times are displayed there. And then I'll just go back to home and just make sure that the event type is on. So when your free trial expires, two of the event types will be off. So make sure that the right one is on because you will have one event for free to use. So here, if I click this little arrow there, you can see on off. So I can select which event is on and which event is off. If you have a paid version, then you can have a limited event types. Now, without further ado, let's go back to branding. So here at the top, if I click on this account settings in the right hand corner, you will see that I can select a picture here. So I'll just click upload picture. I'll just drag it across, click apply. Name is correct. You can add your welcome message here. Everything else seems to be all right. 
I'll just click save changes. Then I'm going to click branding on the left hand side and upload my logo image. If you need help, by the way, with your logo and branding, websites, anything like that, I've got a free training where I share all the resources that helped me to create my own website and also to help hundreds of other entrepreneurs cr create professional looking websites, logos and just meaningful brands. So if you would like to get those resources, get that training and systems, then just click the link in the description below and you can access it straight away. Now I'm going to just select my logo. I'm just going to crop it correctly and click apply. Now I'm happy with this Calendly branding. I'm going to switch off the Calendly branding and click save changes. Settings are saved. So I'm going to come back to my home screen, take the link of this free consultation. I'm going to check it out again, paste in my browser. And you will see that now the whole branding is looking really nice. I can still select all the times and you will see that it's only 30 days in advance that they can book. So that's all you need to know about Calendly. I hope that's helpful. Again, if you wish to find the link, it's going to be here. And finally, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell to get notified every time a new video comes up to support you on your journey of creating the business that's truly fulfilling for you. And that's making a difference in this world. So if you need anything, let me know in the comments. Let me know what would be of most value for you so that I can create those videos accordingly. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye for now.